We're just over a week away from the Apple Worldwide Developer Conference commencing on the 22nd of June 2020. This year's event will take on an entirely new format due to the restrictions of mass gatherings that has been imposed due to the pandemic that has swept the globe. The Worldwide Developers Conference is an opportunity for developers to get early access to the future of Apple's software upgrades. Apple's Senior Vice President of Software Engineering, Craig Federici, says that with all of the new products and technologies we've been working on, Worldwide Developers Conference 2020 is gonna be big. So with that in mind, we can expect a number of announcements and insights into both the software and hardware advancements for 2020 during this event. We're likely to get our first official look at iOS 14. Although the event is focused on providing information and resources to developers, it is well known based on precedents set in previous years that Apple will make at least one or two hardware announcements throughout the events. And this year, we're led to believe that Apple may announce the transition from Intel to ARM-based processors on their MacBooks and iMacs. So what is ARM and why should you care? Well, Apple have been using ARM in the A-series chips in the iPhone and iPad, and each year, those chips get faster and more efficient. According to a report by Bloomberg News, the new ARM processors that Apple is set to announce will utilize the design of the A14 system on a chip that will power the next generation iPhone. The new five nanometer A14 ARM processor is expected to offer significant improvements in chip speed and performance, according to the report. It can pack up to 80% more transistors than the seven nanometer A13 chip, powering the current iPhone 11. Apple's new processors will have 12 cores handling different power demands, eight cores, codenamed Firestorm, will handle performance intensive tasks, while four energy preserving cores, codenamed Storm, will be assigned to lower power assignments. Although ARM processors have shown improvements in efficiency and the reduction of heat, recent tests using apps like Photoshop and the new ARM-based iPad Pro demonstrated that certain rendering tasks were indeed faster on the iPad than the older generation MacBook Pro. I think the comparison was against a 2017 or 2018 model, maybe with a seventh gen Intel processor. So that certainly was a sign of things to come. But let's be real, as far as I know, even the new A14 processors said to be in development right now still won't be able to outperform Intel's current generation of processors in the MacBook Pros, iMacs, and Mac Pro desktops. So there may be some time before we see the technology transition into the entire range of Apple computers. The move to use its own processors comes after years of concern over Intel's inability to make significant speed improvements in their processors at a rate that would keep up with industry demand. With a line of ARM processors sharing Apple's DNA, Apple will be seeking to strengthen its own ecosystem of apps and hardware. It should also lead to quicker product update cycles and we hope lower costs for the consumers, but let's not count on that one. So now that we know what the technology is, how is it likely to play out in 2020? Well, despite some rumors that I've come across about a new ARM-based iMac and MacBook Pro range due this year, I think it'll be more likely that it'll be released as a product roadmap announcement rather than an official product release, especially given the massive software changes that will be needed from a developer point of view to make this transition from Intel to ARM processors seamless. It's similar to when Steve Jobs announced the move from the PowerPC processor to Intel during the Worldwide Developer Conference of 2005, and it wasn't until January of 2006 that we saw the first Intel models appear with the full transition occurring by August of 2006. So where does that leave us with regards to the 2020 iMac? Well, it's very likely that in the interim, Apple will provide us with a basic refresh of specs. The new 2020 iMac could use the iPad Pro design language, thinner bezels, similar to the Pro Display XDR. The iMac will include a T2 chip for security and control functions, plus it will use an AMD Navi GPU and all flash storage, with Apple finally eliminating the Fusion Drive from all of its lineup. Intel in April announced their 10th generation Comet Lake chips, which would be appropriate for the iMac upgrade. So the new model could potentially use these processors. In terms of industrial design and cosmetic changes to the iMac, yes, it is true that we're well and truly overdue for an update here, as we've essentially seen the same design with many improvements over the past eight years. 
but now may not be the time to make significant changes, certainly if a new ARM-based iMac is indeed on the cards for later in the year or 2021. To me, it will make more sense to hold off on any significant design change until then. Now that doesn't mean the 2020 iMac will not get any attention in regards to the design. It is possible, as many online rumor sites suggest, that we'll see a 2020 model with a reduced bevel design, along with some new variations in size, including a 23 inch model, and some even say a widescreen model is on the cards. There've been many rumors circulating about an updated 16 inch MacBook Pro and an updated Apple TV, 11 inch iPad Air, AirPods 3, and of course the iPhone 12, but these are not likely to get a mention during the WWDC, and they may make their first appearance around September or October when the iPhone 12 is due to be announced. If you've been waiting for Apple's AR smart glasses, my guess is that we'll be waiting at least one more year before these actually materialize. If you haven't heard about these, Apple is working on augmented reality smart glasses that could come at some point in the next few years. The glasses are said to feature a dedicated display, built-in processor, and ROS, or reality operating system. Input would be via touch panels, voice activation, and head gestures, and it's said to support applications ranging from mapping to texting. As always, with only one week to go, the information contained in this video is based on speculation and reference material from various Apple rumor websites, along with YouTube videos on the topic. So we don't really know until the event itself, which products will be released and what form they'll take. If you're in the market for an iMac or any products, I would suggest holding off the extra week until the event. But even if we do see new iMacs announced, shipping may be delayed for at least one to three months. So if you are considering a 2019 iMac for tax time, check out my video on the comparisons between the available configurations in the description box below. Let us know in the comments if you've heard of any other rumors that I haven't covered or what you're most looking forward to in terms of product releases this year from Apple. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Bye for now.